So, so Telesex is a CPaaS enablement company. CPaaS communications platform as a service, which many of your customers are well informed about. We are here to make telecommunication companies very dangerous when it comes to being able to deliver and deploy CPaaS globally. Our biggest customers are the biggest telco companies in the world, and we're helping them compete with the likes of Twilio and others to get enterprises exactly what they need to transform their businesses, to improve you know, how they interact with customers and their engagement. So we offer a full platform, full suite of of being able to do CPaaS as well as some turnkey applications to get them up and running. You know, Telestax was originally a spin out of, of Red Hat, where the team had been building this open source application server for the communication space. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, the first iteration of the company was traditional open source, where it's kumbaya, you know, let's just, let's just help everybody. Mm-hmm. And so that's when we made the pivot and launched our CPaaS enablement strategy. Because as we looked at it, we thought, okay, we've got the technology. We can go compete head to head as a retail branded product with the other CPaaS players. We absolutely could have. But what we recognized is our DNA was really more about helping the service providers be successful. And so when we looked at that, we said, okay, well, we can do our own hosted CPaaS, but let's do that in an enablement model where we can white label it like an OEM and really help the service providers, first of all, play defense. So as we were talking earlier, their customers would come to them and say, can you do this? And when they said no, then they were buying services over the top. And so the first thing was, is as soon as we connect those SIP trunks to our core, you're a CPaaS. So essentially the first stage was, let's help them play defense. Let's get a wall up so that they can keep their customers. And then the second piece is we've built a solutions group now where we have things like 2FA, number masking, message exchange, IVR, call recording, all of these you know, more shrink-wrapped type applications that you can put an, a SKU on. It's really easy for a service provider sales guy to go out and sell. Now they can go on the offense, right? So now they can proactively take these new enhanced products, higher margin, same network, and, and make more money off of that asset that, that, that they have. And so we really have been purpose built from a technology perspective, but even more importantly, from a business model perspective, recognizing where we have the, the know-how and experience to help, you know, frankly, what are really large brands already, they've already got success, they're doing things right, they just don't have all the pieces. And, and that's why we call it enablement. You don't have to use 100% of what we give you, it may only be 20%. But that 20% isn't really going to impact your business. Most cloud service providers don't have developers on their staff. Instead, now they can leverage your staff to make their dream come true. You know, this is a solution we're dreaming about. We got the vision, but we don't really know how to enable it. And that's what you're saying your team steps in to do. Exactly, exactly. And we have things that you can take right off the shelf. Or if you come up with a really cool idea, and you need help building it, we can do that too, because we have the APIs to build off of and and build these products. So you can do a lot of custom things, you know, down the road as well. So, you know, we're able to to help in a number of of different directions, but again, we want to keep it super simple in the beginning. We start with one or two use cases, we get some success, we get some momentum, and then, you know, the floodgates open and, and you really unlock just a ton of opportunity across the board. You know, in today's environment, everything is about digital transformation, right? So we're even seeing that more and more with the new normal and having to work remotely. It's a whole new world in how we're communicating and how business processes are working. And so communications is a big part of that transformation. And it's this CPaaS technology along with your traditional messaging and, and phone service that allows you to kind of play with the connectivity between you know, a salesforce.com, a Zendesk, a, an Uber. There's all these different ways that people need to communicate these days. And a CPAS sits in the middle of that and helps connect all of that in, a, in an easy, meaningful way. And so it really kind of starts around with this concept of digital transformation that almost every business is in the middle of right now. Tell me a little more about how they solve real business problems. 
So maybe a good place to start is to, to share a little bit about how we go to market with this, because that, that helps. We can kind of talk through the advantages for everyone in the ecosystem. And so we, we've just explained kind of what CPAS is. I think a, a way to personalize that a little bit is if you've ever gotten an alert from your bank that you've received the money that I owe you, then that's been facilitated through a CPAS. So being able to send that text message is part of that business process. If you've ever taken Uber and you've called the driver, you're using number masking to, for privacy sake. So I think that's the first thing to set out there is that this is everyday stuff. When you get into the enterprise, yes, you have those other connections into some of the enterprise software like we're talking about with Salesforce. And the example you gave is, is right on. This technology has been out there in the market. You know, we're coming up on probably a decade. And it started with the developer community having access to these telephony services that they never had before, which was really cool because you could do those integrations that I just described. But now what's happening is with digital transformation, the enterprise wants to integrate all of this cool stuff. The first person that they're calling is their own telephone company, right? So whether that's AT&T, Verizon, Mettel, Nextiva, you know, whoever the local carrier is that they get their services from, they're calling them and saying, hey, I'd like to send SMS alerts. I'd like to offer two-factor authentication. I need to do number masking. What's happening is they don't have a CPAS. And so these enterprises are now going to these over-the-top players to purchase these services. And so at Telestacks, what we're focusing on is what we refer to as CPAS enablement. And so essentially what we do is we provide a white label CPAS platform that connects into these service providers. And it allows them to then turn around and not only provide APIs that make it easy to integrate, but also turnkey applications that their sales team can immediately take to market. And, you know, we can spend some time talking about some of those use cases, but essentially that's what's unique about Telestacks is we're in this position to really help communications companies provide the services that their customers are already searching for and do that in a really cost-effective, easy way to go do that together as partners. Let me give you two examples. So the first one to your small business, think of a restaurant right? You usually have the hostess that's answering the phone, trying to manage reservations. She's got crowd control going on. And yeah. somebody's calling in just to say, ask, well, what's your address? Um, what's the special tonight? What are your hours? Those are things that, you know, you could have a bot easily answer. So something that's really simple is you could SMS enable that restaurant's phone number and somebody could just text the phone, that phone number and say, What's your hours? And you can get a response. So that busy hostess doesn't have to jump on the phone and try and you know, multitask while she's doing crowd control. So there's really simple things like that that are really impactful to small businesses and the individuals that are really busy. But then on the other side of that is, you know, let's take the vertical of finance and banking. And as we know, security is, is a really hot topic these days. And so things like multi-factor authentication are a critical use case that every bank needs. And not only every bank, but healthcare, e-commerce, logistics, the list goes on and on where we need to authenticate the person on the other end. So just to give you a sense of the opportunity is that one bank have 5 million customers across the country or something, they generate about 3 million SMS alerts a month and about 1 million two-factor authentication. For a service provider that's looking for high margin, new revenue, that's almost a million dollars of business a year by offering their own branded two-factor authentication. So it's really impactful. Um, and they probably already are providing the SIP trunks, you know, the DIDs, all of those phone numbers, everything that the bank already needs for all their telecom, their internet, their data, all of that. So now they're the trusted advisor, right, for that bank. So being able to come in and say, hey, I've got a security option for you. 
You don't have to buy it from some third party as a point solution. We now provide that under our brand with the support and quality that you've come to expect from us. So, you know, you can impact something as, as simple as a hostess in a restaurant to being able to build, you know, a million dollar account with one incremental application with a current customer.